Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting exponential equation 2 to the power x plus 3 equal to 3 to the power x plus 2. So if you know an answer, if you win an answer, write a suggestion in a comment, write a question in a comment. So let's try to solve it. Of course we have x plus 2, x plus 3 right here, x plus 2 on the right. So we can break this, this exponent, this power. So if we have for example a to the power x plus y, we can write it as a to the power x times a to the power y. A really good root, really good rule, so use it, of course. So we break the left side and the right side. So on the left side, of course, we will have 2 to the power x times 2 cube. And on the right, we will have 3 to the power x times 3 square. Nothing hard, just use this root. I think you understand me. Okay, what we're going to do next? Of course, we can simplify this a little bit. We can write it as 8 and this as 9, 2 to the power x times 8, equal to 3 to the power x times 9. Nothing hard, just raised to the second power and to the third power. Of course, we need our axis on the left and our values, our numbers on the right. So let's do this. If we divide in both sides by, for example, at first to the 3 to the power x, we will have on the left 2 to the power x times 8 over 3 to the power x equal to 9 and one more divided by 8 we will have a really good case because we will have 2 to the power x over 3 to the power x equal to 9 over 8 nothing hard just to step first of all dividing by 3 to the power x and second dividing by 8 and we have our axis on the left and our 9 over 8 on the right what we're going to do next of course if we have the different bases but same exponent we can write it in one parenthesis so let's do this we'll have 2 over 3 to the power x equal to 9 over 8 really good case because we of course can solve it with natural log so let's do this let's take natural log from the left to 3 to the power x and of course natural log from the right as you know if we have situation like that, if we have x right here, this x jump in the beginning. So let's do this. It's a really good case because we will have x times natural log 2 over 3 equal to natural log 9 over 8. And the last step, dividing both sides by natural log 2 over 3 because we don't need this right here, we then just need our x, only x, so we will have x equal to natural log 9 over 8 over natural log 2 third. And this is one and only root. If you're interested in it, of course you can you can calculate it. This is our solution. This is one and only root. If you agree with this method, if you disagree, maybe you have faster method, maybe you have question. Thank you for watching, thank you for putting thumbs up, for subscribing, I really appreciate it. And see you in the next videos.